Hey there, Joe Reinwine here again. The increasingly wild-haired hippie psychologist here to continue telling you about acceptance and commitment therapy. Now, last time I introduced you to Bear and Keats, uh, and we used the Bear and Keats to illustrate two aspects of the mind. One, living from fear, which is the primary purpose of the mind, as I uh, described a couple of videos ago, that the mind is a survival machine, and Keats faithfully represented our fear mind. And the bear attempting to represent living from values. And now your mind is a mess, like this train table. And my mind is also a mess. That's a given. Our minds are cluttered with lots and lots of things that serve almost no function in our everyday lives. Oh, jingles from the 1970s in my case, from television, various fears, various suppositions and assumptions, and so forth. But amidst all of that, there are also these two voices. Now, I want to make something really clear here. The idea of the last video was not that we take Keats and we crush him and get rid of him and listen to the bear, okay? The idea here in ACT is that both of these voices are going to be here. That this fear mind is going to be here and that this cute valued values-based, okay, he doesn't have to be cute, he could also be very passionate, values-based voice is also here. And we're going to actually practice having them present at the same time. This is where ACT peels away from, let's say, pop psychology, and in fact, something of the consensus of cognitive behavior therapy today which is that you need to, in some form, take this fear-based mind and get rid of it. Correct it. Fix it. Keats doesn't want to be fixed. Dogs don't like that. So actually, what ACT proposes is that rather than doing this thing that isn't really possible anyway, of fixing, correcting, or getting otherwise neutralizing or getting rid of the fear-based mind, ACT proposes that we live in peace with it, essentially. It's not necessarily your friend, but it's not necessarily your enemy either. When you're crossing a busy street, the fear-based mind is really handy. But if you would like to live a life that's juicy, that's fun, that's passionate, that's compassionate, then you're probably going to want to listen more to the values-based mind. There's got to be some way to end these videos other than saying, I'm going to tell you a lot more. Maybe I'll come up with it eventually.